Welcome to my channel called Everything Jamaica. I'm Cassian, a born Jamaican who could tell you all you need to know about Ireland. Today we'll talk about Jamaica's, Jamaica's national heroes, or rather what I like to call superheroes, living and dead. Number one, Marcus Garvey. Marcus Masai Garvey Jr. was born in 1887 to parents who were descendants of enslaved Africans. He was the youngest of his 11 siblings and was raised in extreme poverty. Garvey received limited formal education, attending elementary school until the age of 14. He worked as an apprentice printer and later as a journalist for a local newspaper where he became interested in politics and social justice. Garvey became a great activist, black nationalist and leader. In 1910, Garvey traveled to Central America where he witnessed the mistreatment of black people and became convinced that the only solution to their problems was for black people to unite and work together. He founded the Universal Negro Improvement Association and the African Communities League, UNIA, ACL. In 1914, with the aim of promoting black self-help and self-reliance, fostering pride in African heritage, and advocating for political and economic independence for black people. He was a prolific writer, publisher, and orator, and his teachings and philosophy of black self-reliance inspired millions of black people around the world. Garvey traveled extensively, giving speeches and organizing branches of UNIA ACL in the United States, Canada, the Caribbean, and Africa. The organization became one of the largest black pop organizations in history with an estimated membership of between four and six million people at its height. Garvey's teachings and philosophy were based on the belief that black people were descendants of a great African civilization and that they had the potential to achieve greatness once they regained their self-respect and economic independence. He advocated for black people to reject the dominant white culture and to create their own institutions, businesses, and communities. Garvey's vision for black economic independence included the establishment of black-owned businesses, including banks, factories, and shipping companies, to create jobs and generate wealth within the black community. He also believed in the importance of education and advocated for the establishment of schools and universities to provide black people with the knowledge and skills necessary to compete in the global economy. Now, what is Garvey's legacy? Garvey's ideas and philosophy had a profound impact on black people around the world, and he remains an influential figure in the history of black nationalism and pan-Africanism. His ideas influenced the black power movement of the 60s and continue to inspire activists today Despite his accomplishments, Garth was also controversial and faced criticism from some black intellectuals and civil rights leaders who felt that his emphasis on black separatism and racial purity was divisive and potentially harmful to the larger struggle for civil rights. Garvey died on June 10, 1940 in London, England. He's remembered as a visionary leader who sought to uplift and empower black people around the world through self-reliance and economic independence. Before I start, please also check out my other videos. And if you like what you see in here, please like, share, and subscribe. And also feel free to comment below. And as we in Jamaica say, what good?